I'm Alex De Brunner and I built a new social media app for a new generation. We've now been on social networks for 10 years. Have they ever supported us in the part of like us growing up that starts to realize what we care about in the world? They've never really helped you develop that. How much does the person who designed this actually use social networks? So Ethos is a social media app that is built specifically for connecting with social cause related content. So we have people on the app discussing things like mindfulness, mm -hmm. sharing tips for daily life, recommending local businesses, but also having discussions um, around global issues, raising awareness about things. So really the idea is all the content that is to do with a shared topic has a space on Ethos. My main frustration was that the mainstream platforms were not built to help people connect to social causes. Mm. Like, I'm quite a believer that everybody has something that they care about. Um, it, it can be anything, but everybody has something that they hold close to their heart that really matters to them. And yet none of the mainstream networks were actually built, like founded with that purpose of let's help people connect to this online. So if someone wanted to create an app for whatever reason, mm -hmm. what's the like very basic thing they need to do? Where do they go? So um, I see this question quite often from founders and uh, usually from non-technical founders because the idea is if you can't code you feel like you are lost for options. Um, something really awesome now is that actually there are coding courses on places like Udemy. Um, I don't know if I pronounced that right. But is this a website? Yes okay. and it offers, it's a bit like uh, Moodle, it gives you different courses and in five weeks you could learn basic code. Um, enough to probably build a workable prototype of an app. So to make this app, did you have to learn how to code as well? I learned elementary bits of code, but actually I was able to build just enough prototypes to get people on board who had coding experience and were able to help us build it. Um, that being said, when I speak to uh, people who consider themselves non-technical who have an app idea, I really encourage them to get out there and commit the sort of four to five weeks it takes part-time to, to learn basic code. This location I wanted to bring up, mm -hmm. uh, we are on the first floor of Waterstones in central London. Why, what, what's so important about this place to you? Um, I think, I, I really like how this is the intersection of five campuses. I think that's quite unique to London. It's just the energy that there is around here, um, aside from the fact that I live around the corner as well, and my friends do. <laughs> okay, cool. So I've spent a lot of time uh, out here advertising ethos with like posters, something I never thought I'd do. And yeah, I just think it's a really nice space. There's a lot of kind of positive energy as well. Do you think you're particularly unique being 22? And what do you think that gives you over people who are a bit older might be starting social media companies? It's a tricky question. I've seen some social media companies come and go where sometimes you wonder how much does the person who designed this actually use social networks? Being able to go onto a campus and, and not look out of place when I'm advertising. Um, I know like some people in our team are like, we'd rather leave that to you to not look um, a bit sort of like suspicious walking up to groups of young people <laughs> and asking um, them to do something. Is there any other personal reason that motivated you? Did you and your friends think, oh, these platforms that exist now are just toxic? Or is, <laughs> what made you think that this was a good idea? There was a common feeling that I had with my friends before on how frustrating it is when you want to do something good and you realize none of the networks you use are actually going to help you push it. So for example, if you put a fundraiser on your Instagram story, it will get less views than other bits you push. Um, and that's for a variety of reasons that I don't think need to be blamed on. That's because people care less. I feel like that technology and how we build it plays a big part in that. So I remember I started floating this idea of, you know, We've now been on social networks for 10 years. We're probably the first generation to have grown up with them. And it felt like a really good point to be kind of introspective and think, has, like, have they ever supported us in the part of like us growing up that starts to realize what we care about in the world, like who we want to be, what we want to... They've never really helped you develop that. Cool. Well, I guess that's all I have my questions. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for having me.